a shear force acting down here. That is my V in my Y direction. Is this un under single shear or double shear configuration? Anyone, please. Single or double shear? Double shear. Double shear. I'm, I'm glad you answered. I thought my mute died, you know. <laughs> so big, why double shear? Is because the load on the screws is carried in these two region where I drew in pink. Okay, so double shear. So you have to multiply by what? Two. Right. The six hundred is given in what? Single shear. Right. And structure is under. Double shear configuration. All right, so this will be equal to 600 times 2 divided by 6 is equal to 200 pound per inch. And we also know that Q is equal to VQ divided by what? divided by I, okay, or VY over IZZ QZ, right? So now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to construct our uh, free body diagram, right? So we're going to quickly sketch out our free body diagram. So this is our point A. Our point B. So given how the structure is loaded, it's not drawn properly. Okay, so one is no, there's no pin or whatsoever. We don't know. So we but we know, right? We know that we have a AY and we know that we have a BY. And we are aware that this is under force P, right? So we know based on static analysis, right, given a transformation again, X and Y, rotation about Z, some measure of about forces, about Y is equal to zero, AY, plus by by is equal uh, minus p is equal to zero and note due to symmetrical loading and geometry a y is equal to b y so down here we know that 2 a y is equal to p a y is equal to p divided by 2 okay so if we were to construct our uh, shear force diagram. Right, sketch our uh, shear force diagram. So V in pounds, X is in inches. So this is zero. This will be equal to, uh, I think we changed the geometry to inches. So it's 40 inch. And then you have 96 inches. So just quickly sketch out. So from here, it will come down, go across, come up here. So this is equal to uh, 0 0.5 P and down here it is minus 0 0.5 P okay so we know that our V max is equal to 0 0.5 P so at the same time we're going to uh, quickly sketch our uh, bending moment diagram okay we are, we are quickly 
So bending moment diagram. So this is equal to um, moment pound inch again, and then we are very sure that it's going to be a positive bending moment because the deformation is going to be smiling face. So X is in inches, moment is in pound inch. So 48 and then 96, we know it's going to end up in zero. And we have a point down here. So this will look like. So this is our shear force, the uh, bending moment diagram. So the moment is equal to 0 0.5 P multiplied by the distance of 48. So this will equal to 24 P pound inch. OK, so I, I just immediately sort out the uh, bending moment uh, uh, magnitude. OK, so I'm going to split the page into two. So now. Let's look at the right. So let's look at this diagram now. Now this is where it where this topic can be very abstract, okay? So you just have to listen, right? And then and then uh, listen and then ask me questions. Okay, you, you have to ask me question. <laughs> right. So we would like to calculate Q is equal to VQ or VY over IZZ multiplied by QZ. Right. Rule number one, we know that VY and IZZ are constant, right? So this is rule number one, right? We, we know that. So we know that uh, Vy is equal to 0 0.5 P and Izz is the number that was given, which is equal to uh, uh, 2909 Oh, sorry, 2902 inches to power four. As always, uh, Q is always the one that is giving us what issues. Always, this is this is frustrating, isn't it? Q is the one that is always giving us issue, always always giving us problem in this matter. Okay, so now. We are aware that over here, this is our neutral axis of centroid. Okay. I think I call it centroid better than neutral axis. It should be because then we know that the shear force will be coming down. 0.5 P. The shear force, once it hits the wood, it will distribute one to the left and then go to the right. Okay. Then after that, it will be transmitted. So the shear, the shear force will be uh, first flow, the Q, right? The shear flow will flow into the wood member first, right? And then transmit to the web val d what? Val d fastener. Okay, right? So the shear force will be transmitted through the what? 
to the web draw the fastener. Okay, then it then the shear force will go into the what? Will go into the web. So the first moment of area regarding regarding the the the, the fastener, right? Has to be taken in the wood member. Only consider the wood member. Oh, wrong curve. Only consider the what? The wood member. You only consider the first moment of area in the wood member. Are we clear? Okay. Are we clear? So the shear flow Q, right? The 0 0.5 P will first flow into the wood member first. Then it will transmit to the web valve the what? Fastener, right? So if it's going to fail, right? The first moment of area we're going to take will be the wood member only. Question, anyone? Are we okay? I know this is the first time you're, 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 you're seeing this. Okay, I understand that, okay? So based on the analysis that, that we're going to carry out, so the analysis will start, sorry, the datum is at the what? Centroid, right? And then our analysis will start when Y max is at the maximum. This is our analysis direction. Okay, that's our analysis. So this is how our rule will still work, right? If, 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 if what I'm explaining is very, very confusing to you regarding the shear flow of flow into the wood, then apply the rules that I say, right? The datum will start from the, the datum is at the centroid. The analysis will start from what? Will start from Y max. Will start from Y max. Same thing, okay? You view the same thing also. So when that's the case, your Q now, you know, QZ, will be equal to the width multiplied by depth and multiplied by y bar. Okay. So the width of the member of the wooden member is six inch, right? The depth is four inch and the width or, or the y bar. Okay. So the y bar is basically from here coming down to here. And this will be equal to 5, 2, plus by 10, divided by 2. And this is your y bar. Okay. So this will be equal to 2, plus by 10, divided by 2. So this will be equal to, so 10, divided by 2, plus 2, times 6, times 4, is equal to 168, okay, inch cube. Right. So remember what I told you guys, the most difficult thing to analyze is your what? First moment of area. Once you once you have done your uh, uh, first moment of first moment of area, Bob's your uncle. Okay, you're good to go. And then from here, we will just plug into the formula where Q is equal to VY over IZZ QZ. Right, so we know that uh, Q, we found our Q earlier. Did we find our Q? Yeah, we did. So the Q that we found earlier is what? Uh, I thought we found our Q, 200. Okay, so this will be equal to 200. And then this will be equal to VY, QZ 168. And then your IZZ is equal to 2902. So from here, your VY is equal to 200 times by 2902 divided by 168. So it's equal to, uh, wait. So VY 200 times by 2902 divided by 168 is equal to 35, 34.76. Uh, pound inch or pounds. So we know that VY 
is also equal to 0 0.5 P. And this is equal to 3454.76 pounds. So P is equal to 6909. No, or in fact, 6909. 